Again, the purpose of these placement videos is to summarize what I talked about already, introduce you to something new, and wrap it up in a short video because I've already given credit for these. These are just repostings of old ones, just like the other videos, in a way. Except for a little bit of news added to make up for the fact that it's a quick summary. Now, the fall of Jericho. Um, Joshua 5, 13. Now when Joshua was near Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing in front of him with a drawn sword in his hand. Joshua went up to him and asked, Are you for us or for our enemies? Neither, he replied, but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. Then Joshua fell face down on the ground in reverence and asked him, What message does my Lord have for his servant? So notice, the man had a drawn sword in his hand already. The sword of God. There is no greater honor than to die by the sword of God as a warrior of God, in my opinion. Unless, you know, to be the Christ himself, but you can't be that. The commander of the Lord's army replied, Take off your sandals, and for the place where you are standing is holy. And Joshua did so. Now Jericho was tightly shut up because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its kings and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carrying trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times when the priests are blowing their trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast of the trumpets, have all the people give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the people will go up and every man straight in. So Joshua, son of Nun, called the priests and said to them, Take up the ark of the covenant of the Lord and had seven priests carry trumpets in front of it and he ordered the people advance march around the city with armed guards going ahead of the ark of the Lord when Joshua had spoken to the people the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward blowing their trumpets and the ark of the Lord comfort followed him the armed guard marched ahead of the priests who blew the trumpets and the rear guard followed the ark all this time the trumpets were sounding but Joshua had commanded the people do not give a war cry do not raise your voice do not say a word until the day I tell you to shout then shout so he had the ark of the Lord carried around the city circling once and the people returned to the camp and spent the night there Joshua got up the next morning and the priests took up the ark of the Lord the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets went forward marching before the ark of the Lord blowing the trumpets the armed men went ahead of them and the rear guard following the ark of the Lord while the trumpets kept sound Sounding. So on the second day, they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except that one the day had circled the city seven times. The seventh time around, when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The city and all that is in it are to be devoted to the Lord. Only Rahab, the prostitute, and all who are with her in the house shall be spared, because she hid the spies we sent. But keep away from the devoted things so that you will not bring about your own destruction by taking any of them. Otherwise you will keep make the camp of Israel liable to destruction and bring trouble on it. All the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord and must go into his treasury. Notice Rahab is not like Jezebel. When the trumpet sounded, the people shouted and the sound of the trumpet and at the sound of the trumpet, when the people gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. So every man charged straight in, and they took the city. They devoted the city to the Lord and destroyed with the sword every living thing in it, men and women, young and old, cattle, sheep, and donkeys. Joshua said to the two men who had spied out the land, Go into the prostitute's house and bring her out, and all who belong to her in accordance with your oath to her. So the young man went, the young man who had done the spying went in and brought out Rahab, her father and mother and brothers, and all who belonged to her. They brought out the entire, her entire family and put them in a place outside the camp of Israel. Then they burned the whole city and everything in it, and they put the silver and the gold and the articles, bonds, and iron into the treasury of the Lord's house. But Joshua spared Rahab, the prostitute, with her family and all who belonged to her, because she hid the men Joshua had spent and spies to Jericho, and she lives among the Israelites to this day. At that, Joshua pronounced his solemn oath, cursed the Lord, cursed before the Lord is the man who undertakes to rebuild the city Jericho. At the cost of his firstborn will he lay its foundations. At the cost of his youngest will he set up its gates. So the Lord was with Joshua and his fame spread throughout the land. Thank you.